welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing your Feb reading for 2024. This is a general message to you what resonates and what does not resonate. For personal readings, white spells and premium charge crystals, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. All the details are given down below <coughs> in the description box. Follow my Instagram at iEnigma.in. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus sign in Leo's. First watchers, see the messages, see you Leo's. Wow, aces, aces, aces. Okay, so what I'm seeing is there's a double ace, which means that you're having a double confirmation to the new beginning happening in your life, Leo's. You can't deny this, you can't run away from this. The new beginning is bound to happen, the newer experiences are bound to take place in your life, and you cannot run away from these. You do want them yourself and you're very excited what new is coming in my life. I'm seeing a lot of enthusiasm. I'm seeing a lot of focus in your life, assertiveness and a lot of people wishing you well as well. This is also what I'm feeling. Some of you have just bought an apartment living there. Some of you are living near mountains or nature and you, you're like literally enjoying over there. So whatever it is, I'm seeing it also talks about 1111, which means this is a number of twin flame. This is a number of high level soulmate or this is a number of... Uh, an extreme new beginning like a major new beginning in all the directions of your life so the ace of swords and the ace of wands is a confirmation that you're going to be super excited to embrace into new beginnings in your love life mainly the new beginnings are also in your career front in your professional front but also you have a new beginning in learning or diving into something new that makes you happy and makes you excited for yourself so you're doing things that makes you feel excited if you're in this a job situation where you, you're seeking something new coming up, there is. And I'm seeing job permanency. I'm seeing a great appreciation at work. Okay. You will do really well. Some of your teachers, professors, some of you are into iron related work um, or artist, whatever it is. I'm seeing you're putting your 100% to it. And there is an unusual excitement and passion and drive towards doing something different, towards doing something new. And you're very excited to jump into new things. So there is a U-turn. There is a new uh, beginning in your life that's going to turn things around. And everything in your life is going to be according to you in the end of the day. So things are happening in your favor. And you'll be pretty excited to experience these things. Some of you, there is a Taurus or a Sagittarius coming towards you in love you will perfect your work i'm seeing you becoming a perfectionist at your work okay i'm seeing you reaching the heights i'm seeing you celebrating i'm seeing you uh enjoying celebrating your victory okay inviting some people everybody's congratulating you or you just seem to be so happy wherever you go you're diving into new things you're going to restaurants you're you're you know you're socializing you're meeting new people you're uh announcing things you're um or uh, i would say like you're organizing events and stuff like that whatever it is that makes you happy you're doing that and which is why there's an unusual glow to you and you feel super happy and full of life there's a new vitality in you so you feel very attractive these days okay i'm seeing a lot of opportunities coming to you offers coming to you that will help you rise and expand i'm seeing a lot of prosperity coming in now let me confirm this major prosperity that's coming in what all areas of your life one thing that i'm first sensed is we're more yellow another thing is listen to your intuition when you're going for a work or when you're going to crack an exam or something like that or an interview then I'll probably try wearing yellow that has more yellow in it in, in your clothes yes something about you doing things for yourself so you don't have to worry about your love life it will naturally fall in place but right now what you need to worry about is or not just worry just focus on is the change that you want to see in your life you're ready for this change you have visualized it and now universe is giving you opportunities to uh, work on those changes i feel like you're giving up on the drama in your life and you're protecting your energy and you're very very um energetic these days ready to you know jump into new things the uh, magician you're a magician you can do anything you want you can turn things around just the way you want okay it's like whatever you do it comes to you tenfold so in a positive sense 
So I'm definitely seeing there's a lot of growth in your income, in the popularity that you're uh, see unexpected income. I'm seeing there's growth. I'm seeing there's a offer of a project like a big project or a dream job you're going to land or you were in this um, difficult situation when it comes to your finances. Now it's all going to end. So all of your debts are going to end. Don't trust people around because a lot of people, there's someone that is not doing well financially. Keep those people away from you because they're going to take money from you. So there's someone that is not doing well financially is coming to ask or to borrow money from you. Don't lend. Keep it to yourself. Yeah, protect yourself from the energies coming towards you. False person. Please clarify more false person in poverty. Yes, the one of your friends that is not doing well financially may depend on you for money and it might become a habit of them. So avoid that. And I know you can't resist because you have a good friendship with that person. But when it comes to your financial matters, keep it to yourself. Keep your money safe. It is. It belongs to you, not the other person. So they have to work for themselves. Now I'm definitely saying there is growth in money. Yeah, maybe uh, you are expecting someone to pay you uh, back the money that you lent them. This is going to come towards you. After a long time, you'll see your debt being cleared. Seven of Cups. New love offers coming in. Okay. You're opening uh, your horizon when it comes to meeting new people. Uh, or just, you know, dating. Ten of Swords and Nine of Cups. You're rejecting a lot of love offers, Leos. You're in such a high vibrational energy that your standards are high and you've become too selective. So somewhere you need to like... Uh, be grounded at the same time don't keep your head up in the sky all the time somewhere we have to understand that everybody might not be as good as us right so Leo's what I'm seeing is the ten of swords finally um, you are seeing your worth and you don't see anybody is better than you that is the whole thing that is the whole point that is why I keep telling you about this so you started to see your worth way more and you love and respect yourself like never before and you have the choice to make it's like nobody can tell me what i want what i don't want if i want something i'll go after it if i don't want it stay away so you're in this energy of self-love very strongly and rejecting a lot of love offers especially if someone is not giving you a clear yes or a clear no and keeping you stuck you're very clear in finding that out i'm not seeing you taking a lot of interest in these options because they're boring for you it's like i haven't felt the kind of a vibe i would want to feel with my partner so the spark is still missing and you're still waiting for that uh, experience when you can feel that spark and yes this is mine but yes the period has begun everything is going to be extra or exemplary so extraordinary love is what you want forgiving and learning yes you at one point of time were codependent on someone that was taking you for granted finally you've forgiven that person learned your lesson moved on with a happy heart and i'm definitely seeing you're now feeling free you have the right to do anything you want to do there's no one that's stopping you controlling you putting any kind of accusers or judging you you're free okay so you've come out of that energy i'm definitely seeing you're very very attractive these days you're going to attract someone from a different religion or age group that will feel an intense chemistry with you so take it easy take it slow don't rush into you know outcomes this is something very important i'd like to say retreat stay detached as much as you can because attachment will cause you dependency expectations which you really do not want to destroy your relationship because of attachment but it's not anyone that you've dealt with this is someone new that you've never been in a relationship with four of swords you're being highly protective of your love or, or, or love life i mean of your heart you have literally done a lot to mend yourself to bring yourself back in action and now that you're back in action you're extremely protective about who you want to give your heart to what should you do in this matter what is the advice live life king size what you're doing right now is going to travel around the world Fulfill all your dreams and desires and goals and ambitions and have a lot of experience in all the areas. Get into some hobbies and activities. Make an impact on the world or on the people around. Get recognized and make new friends. This is what you're working on right now. First of all, you just want to be complete. When you're complete, you're allowing someone else to be a part of your life. So I'm seeing a whole new chapter in your life. You have a lot of experiences coming uh, soon. 
yeah you're closing the chapter the moment you see anything from the past is not no more serving you're closing the chapter you're going to the next and then you're closing the chapter every time which is going to bring you a lot more growth and success because you're not keeping expectations and not holding on to the past anymore so you're closing the chapter from the past since the day you closed your chapter from the past life has started to roll speed up 10x so you're very excited and passionate about knowing what's new what's happening in your life you're highly communicative and expressive about your emotions someone that is coming towards you super new super new and attractive extraordinary love that you were looking for maybe this is the one but there's someone that has a crush on you very soon you will be catching this person's attention and they will come towards you with an energy of oh my gosh let's get together you know there's someone that's going to just flow you with compliments make you feel super special and this is a beautiful energy this is this person may give you a lot of hints about the color red or wedding or relationship red wine anything something that involves red maybe they're wearing red or they're giving you a rose or they've sent you a heart so i'm definitely seeing this person is highly expressive and uh, they will show you that they're interested in you you're going to like them because this is this person will leave no stone unturned when it comes to showing you how they feel so expect a message from someone like that yeah time for you to release the past some of you have come out of a broken marriage and it was really harsh for you that moment that time was very harsh very difficult for you or maybe a relationship that was long lasting but now you have understood that you want to build a solid foundation otherwise you're not going to get into all of these things yes you have become cautious you have become guarded i'm not going to lie so it will take time for you to open up so take your time go slowly and you don't have to rush into things okay so slowly you're going to open up and the new love that's going to come into your life will create faith in your heart for them so there will be a new beginning passionate one and you will feel super confident with this person i feel like first of all you're just enjoying as much as you can happy moments for yourself living your life carefree and then think about love this is what you want right now i'm definitely seeing another confirmation to aces and the sun is a double new beginning new beginning confirmed massive change in your life but first forgive disconnect free yourself from someone if you keep grudges you will no longer be moving, be able to move forward learn to re- love and respect yourself if someone is not respecting you move on okay does anybody want to send you a channel message leos we need to let each other go this is what you are accepting someone from the past extremely negative yes this person has been intoxicating you with negative thoughts and uh there was a heartless person in your life that you need to come out of and you have okay it was like a year back relationship or whatever it is it's time for you to live for yourself respect and love yourself and you're going to come out of this very soon trust that the transformation is going to help you bring yourself back and everything will change some of you have had hard time accepting that you will be able to move on but you moved on everything is fine now now you're ready for new love new peace there you go you don't know that your spirit guides are around you protecting you helping you heal you and bring you in the world of spirituality that can help you suffice yourself when you become sufficient and satisfied with your own self that is your true win actually let's see the divine angels message for you there you go inner temple you don't know deep inside of you you are pure at heart okay and you can love and respect your soul your soul will never betray you so you are you are very spiritual and you're a person of devotion love okay feelings and all of that is inside of you okay enigma love devotion feelings emotion remember so that was sung by enigma i think so this is what you're an enigma inside of you right now leo so you don't need anyone's approval you don't need love in your life to fulfill you understand that you're pure at heart and you have it all
they were oracle cards so listen to these messages they are helping you heal yourself some of you are yourself reader and you're helping yourself but these oracle messages are somehow helping you connect with your inner guide and what you don't see is you're becoming more and more spiritual by listening to these readings because you started to connect with the spiritual world higher realm and this from there onwards your life is going to be more happy happy you will be more satisfied you won't be you know um desperate for practical things in life you're happy yes all the chaos and conflict is going to end finally but you have to take that risk to come out of it to say no or to just accept okay things are like that i can change and i'm moving on by yeah you're being really sad and lonely believe and succeed everything depends upon your belief you're going to be successful okay any advice please yeah stop trying to control the outcome whenever there is something don't try to control the outcome be free be open open your wings fly high and let it come whatever has to come and let it go what all you have to think or take care of is self respect that's it anything else here your space God is giving you the strength and power to just be free and let things happen the way they have to happen. Don't fear things. Three of Wands. You have a long way to go. You have success started from Feb onwards, and you will see a lot of good things happening in your life, which is going to make you feel like you're super blessed or something. So you're raising your vibrations with more and more experiences in life, but don't go back to the past. This is something very important to be said to you. You could be coming across a Pisces, Cancer. Leo again, Sagittarius. These are the most probable signs here. From Aries to Pisces, let's see a person's feelings for you, Leos. Aries, very, very attracted towards you, wants to say a lot of things if you give them a chance. They're coming towards you. Taurus, speeding up towards you to have you by all by themselves. Gemini, not really interested. They have other things going on. Cancer, they want to propose you for marriage, but they're confused because they don't know what you want. Leo, coming with a proposal here, very emotional. Virgo, stalking you, spying because they might be skeptic. Libra obsessed with you like they cannot stop thinking they might be playing music in your thoughts oh my gosh the same same the ace of swords the ace of wands and the ace of wands the ace of swords scorpio obsessively thinking about you and planning about their next move towards you sagittarius they find you as someone that is gentle and calm and they like your energy they are attracted uh capricorn is smitten by your uh beauty and they cannot stop thinking about you this person is planning on proposal aquarius aquarius is leaving because somewhere they feel rejected as they don't see themselves fit for you and then you're having pisces obsessing over you like lusting over you like cannot see you with anyone this is someone that is obsessing like her very badly and there's a huge obsession like you're there one and only okay so this is what this person feels all right let me have more one more message for when it comes to a pisces the tower this person is the one maybe that you need to break free from or this person is someone that is highly aggressive and negative and you won't be able to keep up with this person they have jealousy here okay they want to double date triple date they want to cheat on you so this person will want you but at the same time cheat and this is more like a sexual interest not really real connection the kind of a connection that you're looking for that's not this so i hope you you've enjoyed this wonderful read and i literally enjoyed your read it was different it was just one of a kind and i just wish you all the best from the bottom of my heart and stay connected with me on instagram all the details are down below and do like share comment and subscribe to ayanigma for more stuff yeah bye